Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 2 of Book 5. Now I'm going to read you the proposition as it stands, because I think it's funny, because it's so difficult to understand, and then I'll explain it. If a first magnitude be the same multiple of a second, that a third is of the fourth, and a fifth also be the same multiple of the second, that a sixth is of the fourth, the sum of the first and the fifth will also be the same multiple of the second, that the sum of the third and the sixth is to the fourth. And what that means in plain English, let's start out with two lines, AB and DE, which are equal multiples of C and F. In other words, AB is equal to N times C and DE is equal to N times F. In our, and in our example, N is equal to three. In addition to that, we have another two lines, BG and EF, that are also equal multiples of C and F. In other words, BG is equal to MC and EH is equal to MF. And in this example, M is equal to two. And the proposition states that if these two conditions hold, that the sum of AB and BG, in other words, AG, will be equal multiple of C as DH. In other words, AG will be equal to a constant times C, and DH will be equal to the same constant times F. So this here is the proposition. Now the proof of the proposition is a little bit of hand-waving, but here we go. Now we have that AB is equal to NC and DE is equal to NF. Because they're equal multiples, there's the same number of C's that we can get into this line as there are F's that we can get into this line. That's just the definition of equal multiple. Similarly, the number of C's that we can fit into BG will be the same number of F's that we can fit into EF. Again, it's the definition of equal multiple. So now, if we take that AG is equal to AB plus BG, well, AB is equal to N times C, and BG is equal to M times C, and we can just count them up. So we're adding them up. In this case, it's equal to five, but it really is just N plus M. And we can do the same thing with DE plus EH. And we end up that if we add up all the individual segments, it will also be N plus M. So what Euclid is saying essentially is, is that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between every number in A to B or every line segment. So this line corresponds to that segment, this segment corresponds to this, this one to here, and this one to here, and so on and so forth. And if there's a one-to-one -one correspondence of these segments, then the number of segments will be equal between AG and DH. And that is essentially the proof of this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.